Dear colleagues, thanks for the introduction. Today, we would like to present the Block NTP project, which has been co-authored by Antonio Barbalace, Martin Decky, Javier Picoral, and Pramod Batatia. The bulk of the work has been done while we have been working for Huawei. Let's start with some context. Near Data Processing, NDP for short, is an approach of extending the traditional von Neumann computational model in which data manipulation is done primarily by the central computing unit. In NDP, active computations can be also performed by other parts of the computer system, eliminating the need for unnecessary data movement. The computation is performed near the data, hence the name. There are three main branches of NDP, processing in memory, where computation is performed in operating memory, for example, in DRAM chips. In storage computing, where computation is performed in persistent storage, typically in solid-state drives. And on-stream processing, where computation is performed in connection fabrics, such as network interface cards. Our work presented in this talk focuses primarily on in-storage computing. Now, it has been shown in prior work that in-storage NDP can hugely benefit certain types of workloads by decreasing the overall system latency, increasing throughput, and decreasing energy consumption. On this slide, we present two references. One reference is uh, the use of the well-known BISQUIT framework to optimize SQL queries. The other one is a study demonstrating the benefits of NDP on data scanning. Our paper provides many more references. Unfortunately, despite these clear benefits, the adoption of in-storage NDP is still not as fast as we would like. There is still no generally accepted and open interface standard for NDP, nor an accepted programming model. We believe this is caused by the fact that previous approaches have focused on individual use cases and specific platforms, they were quite intrusive with respect to existing parts of the software and hardware stack, and they did not provide a programming model that would seamlessly bridge the semantic gap between computations on the CPU and NDP. To illustrate this issue, prior NDP approaches required the developers to make specific modifications to essentially manually carve out some data processing functionality from an application and use a specific programming model for a specific hardware target to achieve NDP offloading. In other words, it was like targeting specialized hardware without any abstraction layer provided by the operating system. Our proposed approach to NDP, on the other hand, provides universal mechanisms integrated with the operating system and a programming model that provides a much greater degree of abstraction and automation. Essentially, we extend the operating system from the host CPU to a distributed system to the NDP targets by providing our own runtime support on them. Uh, this runtime takes care of carving out the data processing functionality from the original application and uses an intermediate representation and just-in-time compilation to efficiently distribute the computation. We have applied our proposed approach in the realm of in-storage NDP and created the Block NDP project. The project consists of three main parts. First, we provide a compiler framework that allows the developer to easily annotate data processing functions and automatically compile them to an intermediate representation. We use eBPF for that purpose. There are some obvious limitations on the nature of the code that we can process. For example, the code cannot create new threads or dynamically allocate memory. But as we are focusing on data processing and on a stream programming model, this is not a severe limitation. Next, we have the runtime that runs on an SSD controller and that offloads the intermediate representation by just in time compiling it to the native ISA of the cores of the controller. It also provides a secure execution environment for the offloaded code. In principle, our runtime can also support FPGAs or fixed function explorators. Finally, to glue everything together, we have extended the standard NVMe protocol to act as our transport mechanism and we have extended the operating system file API to map our stream programming model to existing data streams in the form of files. This figure illustrates the workflow of the frontend of Block NDP, where a common source code is compiled in the usual way into the native ISA of the host CPU and partially into eBPF. Both executable forms are stored in a single fat binary and the intermediate eBPF code 
can be then jitted either to the host CPU ISA or to the SSD controller ISA as needed. Block NDP tries to be non-intrusive. We have defined and implemented a few very conservative extensions to the NVMe protocol and to the OS IO subsystem. Our goal has been to make use of the data processing parallelism of the SSD. For the same reason, the block NDP processes the data under the hood with the granularity of blocks. This also maps nicely to the notion of files, which are essentially a stream of blocks. We allow data processing to be performed during a read operation where the source stream is a sequence of blocks of a file stored on the SSD and the destination stream is the host memory. Analogically, during a write operation, the source stream is the host memory and the destination stream is a sequence of blocks representing a file on the SSD. We also provide a new transform NVMe command where both the source and destination streams reside on the SSD and there is no round trip to the host memory. This can be essentially seen as the extension of the standard NVMe write zeros command. On the left hand side, you can see the new admin NVMe commands and the extensions to existing NVMe commands that are necessary for our runtime bookkeeping. All these extensions to the NVMe protocol are completely backward compatible. On the right hand side, you can see our NDP extended read, write and transform commands. Those are actually not new commands. They are just semantic extensions to the existing read, write and write zeros commands. We define new command of codes for them simply to provide full backward compatibility with the non-NDP implementations. A few more technical details about our implementation. Each data processing function or blocklet is decomposed into a constructor, destructor, initializer, finalizer and iterator. The iterator performs the actual business logic of the data processing. This is necessary because the individual blocks of the data stream cannot be processed in sequential order that would kill the benefits of uploading the code to the SSD controller. The blocklets are associated with open file descriptors and this allows to easily integrate the data processing with the usual read and write API calls. It also allows the runtime to guarantee security and isolation of the workloads of different users because the physical blocks on the SSD that are allowed to access are well defined by the operating system managed file system. Our prototype implementation of BlockNDP is based on the OpenSSD project, which is an open hardware and open source SSD controller created at the Hanyang University in Seoul. We did not modify the hardware part of OpenSSD in any way. We have only extended the controller firmware with our runtime. This demonstrates that our approach is indeed non-intrusive. It is also worth noting that the ARM cores on the OpenSSD controller are really not very powerful. Despite this handicap, we have been able to replicate the benefits of NDP shown by prior work. Our performance evaluation is really not showing any surprising results. We simply demonstrate that given a workload that is known to benefit from in-storage NDP, our prototype implementation delivers such benefits, despite the shortcomings of the platform we have been working with. Let me refer you to our paper for a detailed discussion. Let me just briefly mention that we have run microbenchmarks with data aggregation and data filtering workloads. These microbenchmarks show reasonable performance improvement in the favorable cases and just a minimal overhead in the least favorable cases. We have also implemented a custom MySQL storage engine that uses block NDP to offload certain SQL operations for aggregation and selection to the SSD. This also demonstrates reasonable speedups comparable with prior work. We have chosen this approach due to some technical limitations of the OpenSSD platform and obviously our future work is to simply annotate an existing storage engine. To conclude, we are presenting an approach for practical, non-intrusive, portable and performant in-storage NDP design and a prototype implementation based on OpenSSD. We are currently working on obtaining the legal clearance from Huawei to open source our work. When this is done, you will be able to access our artifacts at the URL shown. Due to the time limit of this talk, we have omitted a lot of technical details. We also did not talk about our OpenSSD QEMU simulator that allowed us to rapidly prototype our code. Please feel free to read our paper for more information and do not hesitate to approach us for details. Thank you very much for your attention and I would be happy to answer your questions.